guys, it's your girl Ginny and just like everyone else in the world, I have been obsessed with watching Euphoria. Mainly, Maddie Perez's makeup looks have been so good this season as well. The most recent episode was episode 7 and I saw her butterfly inspired cheerleading look that was featured for like 10 seconds. That makeup really took my eyes and I just wanted to recreate it. Judging from my little research that I did about the makeup look, this makeup look took actually 3 hours and took like a couple of times to actually do and they only showed it for 10 seconds but just the detail that the Euphoria makeup artist and the clothing stylist are putting into the show is pretty remarkable in my opinion so I just want to recreate this look because I know it's gonna be trending and it just looks so beautiful so let's just try to turn myself into Maddie Perez in case you guys can't realize, I like Maddie the most <laughs> from the show. Everyone else kind of sucks. Not everyone else, but a lot of the characters suck. Anyway, let's get started with the eyes. So I already did my skincare and put my eyebrows back, but you guys can watch my other videos for any of the tutorials if you want that. But we're just gonna start with the eyes. This eye is really blue. This makeup whole point is like on the eye, so we gotta do good on the eyes. I would just like to point out my needy dog right here. Hello, Oliver. Are you sleeping? He's a little sleeping next to me, like always. Since this is a really eye makeup centered look, we're just gonna zoom in so you guys can see everything I'm doing clearly. But first, before we go in with any eye makeup, we're just gonna go in with this Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This actually went viral a couple times on TikTok. We want the eyes to be really pigmented. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this, aka just swiping on my lids. It feels like kind of slimy, which you wouldn't expect on an eye primer, but this actually really keeps your eyeshadow on and just really makes everything pigmented. So we're just gonna wait for that to settle down on our eyes before we begin our eye makeup. And for this look, because we want a little shape of the butterfly before we fill it in with the eyeshadow, I'm taking my Bare Minerals Brown Eyeliner Pencil and we're just going to create like a butterfly outline. I'm just going to try following the shape of Maddie's actual one, but we'll see how it turns out. Literally have it by the side of me. Anyways, I just drew like the basic outline of the butterfly, but we're just going to do it on the other side as well. Looks kind of funny, but that's how makeup starts. I want to get like the exact same tone and color that Maddie did for her blues. And I find that it's a little bit difficult to copy the exact same color without knowing the eyeshadow color. So I literally just took out every single eyeshadow palette that has a little bit of blue. I think what I need to do is mix these two palettes. Um, I'm going to go in with like this teal color and then mix some of the blues with some of this like darker blue right here. This is the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette and this is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Stone Wash Palette. So I'm gonna start with this teal color here. So we're gonna get a good amount of this teal color. And we're just gonna add that to just the middle portion. But we're just gonna try staying as close to under the brown eyeshadow as possible. And we're just gonna pat that in. As you can see, this is a little more green than Maddie's, but we're just gonna blend it with different colors to make it perfect. We're also gonna start filling in this part as well. I think it just gets darker, so I'm just gonna add that. And with this blue, we're gonna mix it with a little bit darker blue, like a deeper shade. And we're just gonna pack that in the outer thirds. I don't know what this is called, the outer wing. We're going to do that to the outer bottom lids as well. The thinner brush, pack in more. The outer corner right here, that brush was like not it. So I'm getting a different brush and we're just going to pack in the blue. As you can see, this brush actually is packing in everything. And don't be afraid to Make a little bit of a mess because you're going to clean it up with some q-tip. You're going to want to get a q-tip and just start cleaning the blue parts and just make it a little bit crisper. There you have the first initial part. And back on the Bare Minerals palette, we're going to grab this white color on another brush. And we're just going to really pack this in just because white doesn't show as much. But we're essentially just going to 
put this in this part and just kind of blend everything together before we add another shimmering white color. So just on the inner right here, you want to bring it back a little bit, just a little bit to kind of give the same color that Maddie has in the photo. In this part of our eyes, we're going to add the white. And then with your blue brush, you're just going to blend that in just a little bit. The white is not as like dominant in this look. This is the Pop Beauty palette. This is the Light Show palette in Slay. So we're just going to add this color right here. And I'm just using my same white shadow brush that I was using. So this is like really pigmented, so you definitely don't need that much. We're just going to add a little bit to the middle of our eyes. You can see it starts building up like a glittery intensity in the middle of your lips. So we're just going to pat that. And then with the blue part, and then with the blue eyeshadow part, I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom outer corner just to give it that same twinkle that Maddie has in hers. And I'm just going to clean it up with my q-tip as well okay and this is how the both sides look before we trace it with eyeliner and like put the gemstone and do mascara and all that um we're gonna do our face makeup so the eyeliner could just not smudge at the end for our face maddie is the only character on euphoria that's allowed to wear foundation on set so i just want to prime my canvas with the tatcha primer this is one of my favorite primers of all time i love this version and also the compact version but we're gonna take a good amount because Alexa Demi has like flawless skin so I'm just gonna put that all over and for our foundation we're gonna use this Giorgio Armani foundation it's in the shade 5.9 so let's just put this on our face I'm also gonna use my heavy coverage Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because I want like that full coverage look, especially under the eyes. So we're just gonna put that in. Anyways, just blend that all in, guys. You get this like very almost flawless look, really reminiscent of the character Maddie. But we're gonna go and do our eyes now and just finish it up. But it's really simple at this point. You just need an eyeliner. We're gonna just trace it. And after doing the eyeliner, this is how it looks like. I'm gonna try just using mascara. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need lashes. We're gonna curl our lashes first. But I'm gonna use this new Milk Vegan Mascara. Just came out. And I really want to try it out. Maybe this will give me enough length to not use falsies. But let's try curling our lashes first. And though this mascara is good, I don't think it's enough. Asian girls just don't have as much lashes for especially like dramatic looks like this. So I think after my mascara, we're gonna have to put on the falsies. My lashes here, I already put the glue on them. Um, so I'm just gonna pop them right on my eyes really quickly. So our lashes just like changes the whole look up. So like you've always got to put them on when you're doing dramatic looks. I can't stand my pores. So while we wait for the lashes to dry, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have already hit pan, but it's such a goodie that I refuse to throw it away. And we're just gonna layer that on top as you can see the pores just like kind of disappear really quickly and sand my pores but this is the best we can do for now after that's done let's put on some gemstones and in this look she only has two gemstones here this one's pretty easy you're just gonna have to put glue on the middle of your eyes so we're just gonna put two little dots here to stick our rhinestones on Now 
My eyes are definitely asymmetrical, so it took a little bit to put the gemstones in what I think are equal spots. Anyways, uh, we're done with the eye makeup. And the rest of her makeup is pretty easy. I think the makeup artist just kept it really light on everything else. So for our eyebrows, we're just going to go back and put, um, you guys already know this is my favorite, but this Kosas Air Brow in the shade Brown Black. And we're just going to coat our eyebrows with it very lightly. brows are a little thinner than mine but I don't really want to change the whole shape of it because this is not like you know trying to be exactly like her we're just trying to create mainly this eye makeup but if you guys want to do like the exact same look I think her eyebrows are a little bit thinner than what I made them so it looks like the queen pretty much just skips contouring and just adds a little bit of blush I'm gonna just take this like really light pink color that I have and just put it on like the middle right here to give yourself like a flushed and innocent look. The lips are gonna be really easy to do as well. I'm just gonna use two or maybe three things depending on how it comes out, but we're gonna use just NYX lip pencil in the shade New Truffle. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Chai Genius 255. I'm just gonna line our lips with this first. It has to be a little bit of a darker color than that, just like Maddie's, so I'm just gonna try to see. I don't think this is going to be dark enough. So I'm going to go over with it with my eyeliner pencil. I mean my eyebrow pencil, just to make it a little bit more brown. For a lipstick, just get your Maybelline. This one is super pigmented, by the way. So um, don't use too much or it's going to get everywhere. And you still want your lip liner to show. So what I like to do is just grab it by the side angle. This applicator is actually really nice to use too. Uh, as you can see, I'm like leading a line of the lip liner in here. And I think I want the lip liner to be a little more, more drastic. So I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil, try a darker color, and then we're just going to fill it in. And I'm going to grab my next pencil that I was using earlier, and you're just going to blend that harsh line in to this. Okay, and then after, I just went in with my eyebrow pencil again. But while I was blending everything in, I didn't like how dark my lips had got, so I went in with my Armani Beauty lip stick. This one is in the shade 103. It's the Lip Mastro, but we're just going to add a little bit all around. Anyways, before we do the full makeup reveal, I want to do my hair first, like the way she did it. So it looks like she just kind of has like some like edges going on here, but I'm not even gonna attempt the edges because it's not gonna work out very nicely on my Asian hair. <laughs> so we're just gonna brush this back. Looks like her hair updo starts from like where her wing is. Grabbing like a good portion in the front. I'm just gonna tie it back with a little slingy thing. But for now, I'm just gonna, you know, with this little slingy thing, I'm just gonna tie her hair back. Maddie would definitely use some gel on her hair, but kind of don't want to add gel today so I just added some water for the time being because I'm not gonna have this makeup on for that long but yeah you can put your gel in your wax in just to make it a matty kind of look and there we go let me just change into something a little more matty appropriate and we'll do a final reveal okay we're back in my bathroom I'm not even kidding but this is like a silk pillowcase that I tied as a top and I tucked it under like my blue tennis skirt because I feel like this is like a cheerleading outfit. Like, look at the back. 
It keeps falling off every second. Anyways, this is the full makeup. I feel like this makeup look doesn't really look that good on me because I'm Asian and my monolids just don't look that good when I overdraw it this much. Um, definitely more like a stunning look on like people who have like more distinct features than me, but I think I did pretty well. Currently also 2 a.m. So I did really well for 2 a.m. makeup. Anyways, um, this is how the finished look looks. This is how it came out. I feel like the eyeliner I was using was not very new, <laughs> meaning <laughs> It was a little hard to draw on the eyeliner than usual, but I think it's just because it's like an older one. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before we leave, please make sure to subscribe to this channel down below and like this video for more updates like euphoria themed or any makeup if you guys have any questions my dms are always open um, but my comments are always open as well but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time bye